Hello ladies and gentlemen, your captain speaking from flight deck. My name is Captain Surinder Singh. Welcome aboard the plane talking. Sit back, relax and enjoy your journey. So in the previous class we saw various V speeds. Today class as far as pilot is concerned it, it is one of the most important class. You fly any aeroplane in life, the procedure remains same. That is your takeoff path and takeoff segments. So let's see what are these takeoff paths, what are the segments and why it is so important for us. These are called RTOW chart. Okay, basically you factor all the items which affect your takeoff performance and you resolve the speed concurrency v1 vr and v2 okay earlier there were charts nowadays you have software okay you take the weather you put temperature runway condition in that you have airport data is already fed in tora toda asda kitna hai wahan par lda is how much everything is prefed now all you check what is your prevalent condition so this airport is konsa VISS, SS is Surinder Singh, okay, airport, just let's say take it, okay, engine, because for every engine it will change, people struggle when they go for the type rating to read these charts and you will find even without any flight training or anything, you can read it easily, okay, people really struggle because somewhere the basics are missing. The basics are missing is that the all this is based on the runway length is V scale by 2A. Now you look at the item and you will find that's why Airbus gives you this formula in the getting into grips before even you start reading about Airbus, nobody reads it. Okay, so here this is whatever A320 aircraft CFM engine because engine will affect your acceleration let's say it is a new this will be different chart for the same runway for the same everything because the acceleration will be different for different then you have elevation because higher the elevation density will be less remember you have to lift up the weight correct which is cl half rho v square area ignore it area you can't do anything but what about density if your density is affected what will happen the lift produced would be less Forget about lift, the engine, mass flow, whether jet engine or whichever engine you fly, it handles a mass flow and accelerate to certain velocity to give you forward thrust and mass is what? If you talk about engine performance, engine performance is mass handling, mass is volume into density. Are you understanding how important this density is? Whether the wings which are producing lift or the engine pr producing the thrust. Okay, same engine, if the density is less, what will happen? The thrust produced will be less. If the third produces left is what will happen to the acceleration? The acceleration will change. What about the lift produced? That is also change. So all your everything will change. And manufacturer gives you in very simple, it looks complicated, but <laughs> it is a very simple, simple manner. This is runway 3.6 for VISS airport, okay, runway condition is dry, wet hoga to kya hoga, this chart will be different. So in the chart when you open the folder you will find dry and wet, because then you have to factor the ASDA part, okay, elevation, temperature, hot, high, humid reduces the density, higher the temperature, lower is the density, higher you are, lower the density, you are taking off from Delhi, you are taking from Srinagar. What will happen? The density is less there. Same engine is giving you less thrust. So what will happen to the runway length required if everything I am keeping same? You understand? Uh, they are very simple logic. Hot, high, humid. More humidity, less density. More temperature, less density. So all these charts, they are factored for a certain temperature. Now when the temperature change, you give correction for the temperature. What temperature? Okay, then you have 
for any runway torah is given we just studied in the previous class how much is available to you toda and azra line up distance can you see line up means when you are taking the distance you factor that also how much is the line up distance okay and then you have you have factor that also very interesting obstacle path in case of take off engine failure you have to clear the obstacle also so that obstacles are also factored into it that we will see in the next when we see take off performance in that we will see how the obstacle those who have done payload i have already done with the uh, uh, i have done the topic that how your take off performance varies in case you have obstacle okay just to give an idea let's say i have no obstacle in take off path you can maintain this certain climb gradient correct the minimum obstacle clearance which you required but let's say if you have obstacle in take off path we will see in take off performance next topic which we are doing now you need minimum clearance are you getting that clearance no so where the aircraft should be aircraft should be at above this obstacle so what will happen you need to maintain higher climb gradient and the climb gradient is affected by weight very simple more the weight you can maintain with the same thrust less climb gradient if weight is more you cannot maintain this so if there was no obstacle you could take off like this if there is obstacle what do you have to do you have to reduce the weight because you need to maintain again when we study technical that time we see angle of climb or climb gradient is thrust minus drag by weight don't get intimated this formula this is mainly for the people who i presume have studied technical but more weight means lesser climb angle so that will affect your weight will be affected your speed will be affected if there were no obstacle probably i can take off with more weight correct on the same runway if there is obstacle ahead with the same weight you cannot take off clear on this so that's why that also is factored in coming back to this runway gradient if you have a sloping runway your acceleration will be slower the aircraft will accelerate slow so what will happen you require more runway length everything you factor before take off so that's why tora toda azra everything you calculate then you will find various configuration flaps basically how much lift you are generating constant with this is different with this so that is job of manufacturer to provide you these charts but he is factoring basic what we study okay agar if you have flaps means more lift correct you can take off with less speed just see here just to comparison of these two charts this is flap 1 let's say lower setting correct you don't know anything i'm just telling you flaps is the surface which you take out from the aircraft correct this is lower selection and this is higher selection trust me this is airbus chart and how simple it is okay if your flap setting is more can you see the weight is same but what happened to your speeds is reduced because you have increased the coefficient of lift that is so obviously if you have a shorter runway length you can use this correct because your take off speed is reduced why because your lift is increased same everything is same if you see for the given temperature 64 degrees celsius with this flaps okay well, let's say this is almost similar so the speed here is 143 and here the speed is 140 and less speed means obviously where the runway is small this is the better way to take off flap setting when you sell. so okay similarly you, see, you factor temperature high hot humid now as you see your temperature is reducing you can carry more weight can you see here here temperature is 44 i don't know whether you can read it behind let me enlarge it little temperature 64 degree let's say i will take zero winds 
If temperature is more, look at your winds. What are the weight you can carry? 62. As the temperature is reduced, how much? So before every takeoff, and these speeds are basically v1, vr, and v2. Before every takeoff, we calculate these speeds with these charts. You will factor what is the temperature? Is this? This is this? Okay, and you mark the. That's why you call v1 rotate. How will you know? So before every takeoff, takeoff you are calculating. Let's see. Everything is temperature same. If you have headwind, what happened to the weight? You can carry more weight. If you have a tailwind, you can carry less weight. So actually, you know, if your temperature is reducing, your weight will keep increasing. You are not worried, intimidated by this chart. Rest all is numbers. So having seen this, let's take a break and see you after the break. <laughs>